Is this the future of airbrushing? The cool thing about this little airbrush is that it's connected to this and it's hooked up to a hose. In this video, I'm gonna do a spray test and unboxing of this unit and I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's get into it right now. So this is the iBeauty cordless airbrush kit. Something that really excites me is the 32 PSI, the stable pressure and the long life motor. Go ahead and take a look what's inside. We have the owner's manual, and this is really the one feature that is a game changer in my opinion. So a huge thank you to iBeauty for sponsoring this video and for sending out the product so that I could do this unboxing and spray test for you. If you are interested in this product and you want some more info, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. Now it comes with this airbrush. You can see it runs a Mac valve, cutaway handle, has the traditional rounded style trigger and the adjustment screw on the rear as well so that you can control how far back your throw is. Decent size cup. I have to say I love these rubber protector cones. They're super handy, especially like me when I'm running my airbrushes without the air cap. It's nice to just be able to pop one of these back on and know that it's protected. Good size needle. And the needle on this brush is a 0.3 mil. And then we have the little battery unit. Some information on how to install it. The 1 8 inch adapter. You get a braided hose with it as well. See the ends on the hose there. And as far as the length of the hose, I just measured it. It's just over four feet, approximately 12, 16 mil. In addition to the hose you get the charging cable and this will just plug into a USB and you also get a little paint pipette as well as some of those brushes and the little nozzle removal tool. Okay, you can see the warning label on here is just telling me to make sure that I rotate it the right way around and to remember to turn off the compressor. So you can see there's a little button here you press that down to activate the battery and shut it off again. Now it's going to go ahead and remove the protective film. So this is straight out of the box. I haven't put it on charge or anything. It's just ready to rock. Pretty cool blue color. You can see in here is where you would plug it in to charge. This end would click in here. Then you would plug in your USB. So I'm going to need to hook this up. Screwed it on finger tight. This part will go onto your hose. And then using this end, the one with that adapter, you're going to screw that onto the battery unit. And again, counterclockwise to screw screw that on. You just want to twist that up till it's snug. Beauty of it is I can sit it down for the moment. Remove that. You can see there's no action as yet because I haven't turned it on. Click the on button. That's it turning on that airflow, which is good because then the battery unit doesn't need to run at all times. So you can see I'll press down, lift it off and it takes a little bit to shut off. I think the really cool thing is you can just have it sitting in your pocket and be airbrushing away. No need for a large compressor. I've got some reducer in the cup. I'll show you quickly, just spraying the reducer. So you can see it is pumping out some air pressure and then adding in the paint. See if it keeps a consistent pressure. Now, keep in mind, this is the airbrush that comes with the unit. It works. Just gonna wind that Mac valve out Getting a bit more spray now. I'm keen to try it with some branded brushes. I think I may just need to thin out my paint a little bit more. Again, let's go lightly now, I've thinned it out more. Definitely getting better performance now. Still a bit intermittent. But keep in mind, you're getting this with the unit. But one thing I do like is that it's got the, the feeling of just airbrushing as normal. You're not necessarily feeling like you're holding onto a big unit underneath. Not that that was an issue with the previous style models. And some people actually found that more comfortable holding onto something. It's kind of like holding onto the in-filter moisture traps, but this has definitely just got that regular airbrush feeling and you just got the portability factor. I mean, that's the main thing. Now, before I hook up another airbrush, what I want to try is I'm going to just unscrew this. I just want to see what happens. So you can see now that's free flowing. So now what I need to do is 
shut off the compressor. But what I want to try is running a quick connect system on there. Will that work? So let's go ahead and we'll screw on the female end on here. And then I'm going to run the quick connect on the airbrush that comes with it. This would be great if this worked because then essentially you can just have all your airbrushes on a quick connect, hook straight up to this and you're up and running. Now I'm getting a slight little bit of warmth coming off the unit. So now let's click that in. And yes, that works, that's amazing. So that's fantastic. You can just hook up a quick connect and just swap out your airbrushes onto this unit. Let's see how it goes with some coverage. It's definitely got more power than the other unit that I have tested. And I'm just going to test out my TRN1, the Awada Neo. And there you have it, no problem at all. And now testing the PS289. Okay, so it definitely feels a little bit warm, which is fine. It's not really a problem. But what I want to do now is test out if I'm just going to hook up an airbrush. I'm just going to unscrew the hose and we're just going to hook up the airbrush that comes with it directly to the unit and see how that performs. I mean, the benefit is obviously with this unit to have the hose attached. So now you can just use that as your holder, which is one cool thing about running it on the actual unit. So it works really nicely. The only thing now, obviously, you've got the vibration in your hand, so a little bit to get used to. It's flowing really nicely. Let's quickly see if I can hook up the quick connect and run the quick connect directly on the top of the unit. Hooking that one on, hooking this onto the airbrush that comes with it, click it in. And so far so good. Yep. So there's no problem running the quick connect system on one of these units. Go ahead and try it with the Micron. So that works perfect. I will definitely do some more tests using this particular unit to create some artwork because that's going to give me a better understanding of how it actually performs. But I do love the fact that you can use that quick connect system as well as the hose. I think that's great. So I have to say this little unit has impressed me. The fact that you can hook up other airbrushes, quick connects and a hose is in my opinion a game changer when it comes to these battery units. To continue your learning be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here and until next time go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.